All right, hello and welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the food shortage, what I see happening, how you can protect your household and your family for what's to come, and we're gonna do that right after this. So cute the intro. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, so I apologize about the background noise. I had my GPS on the phone at first, and it was I thought it was making noise, but it was actually my other GPS. So anyway, um, out and about, getting my day started. And I just wanted to come in, and I want to talk to you guys. I want to give you guys a heart-to-heart -heart about what I see is about to happen. And I've seen this happen many times over my life. Uh, most of the times I was unprepared, but this time, you know, the older you get, the more you learn, the more you learn, the more you, the more you see things coming, the more you see things coming, the more you, you know, the more you get in the practice of getting prepared. So, and for people who are, who are carnivores, people who eat meat right now, I need you guys to really consider going more to a plant-based diet because it's about to cost you about to cost you in a major major way so what I see happening um, so let, let's let's rewind a little bit that suppose there have been major flooding in the Midwest where you know most of our most of our food is produced had storm after storm come in they had to put you know they put the had to put the growing season the growing season is shorter um, not able to produce as much corn and you know stuff that we use to feed animals basically and you know and humans but mainly animals um, this country so much is dedicated to us eating meat it's actually ridiculous um, there's going to become a time here in the next what I see in the next month six weeks it's gonna come a time where food prices I mean you already seen it food prices are up you know in my area I've already noticed a 17 to 25 percent increase in things that I buy and I'm plant-based I've seen avocados go from a normal price of like 99 to a dollar 17 dollar 27 a piece up to a dollar 99 each and now that now they've gotten slick they started selling two for four dollars I used to get avocados at one place for 69 cents. I finally found a place where I can get avocados for 69 cents. That was, I was in heaven. I would go in and buy, you know, 10, 12 avocados at one time. Now, same place, they're 99 cents each. That's a 33% increase. I don't care how you slice it, okay? And that's just on things that I eat. You know, well, that's just on one thing that I eat all the time. So, I'm saying all that to say this, to tell you this. If you are a meat eater, I'm going to, I'm going to strongly encourage you to start eating more plant-based. Not, not, number one, for health reasons and health purposes. But for number two, you're not going to be able to afford it after a while. Think about it like this. This country is a capitalistic society. We, we run on supply and demand. So as the supply goes down, the demand goes up. As the supply goes down, demand goes up, price goes up. Supply goes up, demand goes down, price go, I mean, mm, let's say supplies, supplies up, demand is down, price is down. So the more food we have, the cheaper it is. The less food we have, the more expensive, expensive it's gonna be. And that's only that's that's basic economy, or basic economics. Okay, you learned that in like high school. But what's about to happen is the food prices on meat is about to drastically increase. If you haven't noticed it already, see, I don't keep up with meat prices, so I'm um, I'm kind of oblivious to that because we don't eat any meat. But the way I see it, the same price if you was paying, let's say, four or five dollars for a chicken before. That's about to go to seven, eight dollars, if not higher. If you were paying, I don't know, four or five bucks a pound for some beef, that's about to go to seven, eight dollars. 
Why? Because demand is about to be up, but supply is about to be down. It just is what it is. And if they have to start slaughtering more, that means you don't have have any in, in reserve that's coming. You see, animals are not like it's not like potatoes. You know, you can throw some potatoes in the ground and within you know a couple few 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 months, you got some potatoes. An animal takes time to grow. So these are some things that I would recommend you do, even though this is against my uh, against my morals, I should say. And by the way, I want you guys to watch a documentary called What the... Um, not What the Hell. Watch that one too. But I want you to watch the Earthlings documentary. Watch the Earthlings documentary. It's right here on YouTube. I wish I could download it and put it on my channel since I recommend it all the time. That would be great to get those views. Let's we'll see if I can figure out how to do that. Thank you. That's, that's good therapy. <laughs> so anyway, um, watch the Earthling documentary. But this, if you are a meat eater... Okay, I'm strongly encouraging you to start going more plant-based. If you want more information about that, check out my YouTube, uh, my Facebook group at fastingweightloss.info. But I would recommend you start stocking up now while you can still buy things. Okay, if you have a freezer, stock your freezer. And I'm talking about a deep freezer. I'm not talking about uh, the one above your refrigerator. That's going to make you, you know, make your refrigerator not act right <clears throat> if you put a whole bunch of stuff in it. Somebody, if you have a deep freezer stock, and most people have a deep freezer, it's, it's already stocked. And this goes to plant-based people too. Start stocking up on, on your veggies. Um, they're not, you know, frozen veggies are not as good for you as fresh, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It just is what it is. If you if you eat chicken, if you eat beef, if you eat pork, oh God help you, but start stocking up on that stuff. Another thing I would recommend you do. Another thing I recommend you do is if you if you can do it, some you know some towns and some cities do not allow you, but I don't I'd, I'd advise you to get your two hands, you know. You want it you want to become more plant based, but just in case you can't give up eggs, get you a couple of chickens, get you a couple of hens, and um, I mean I don't even know what a dozen of eggs. Cause last time I bought some eggless best, I think they were like four dollars a dozen. I'm guessing I, I can't even remember. Um, but you know, if you have a couple of hens that are laying an egg every day, that's two eggs a day. You're not going to eat two eggs a day. And if you do, that's way too much cholesterol for you. But I mean, you're figuring six days, you got a dozen, you got a dozen of eggs. So for every six days, you just put back in your budget, what, four bucks? That's a f extra $4 a week, four, eight, that's 16 bucks a month. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. But I think Benjamin Franklin said a penny saved is a penny earned, right? So that's 16 bucks back into your budget. And get this, if you have a surplus, you can sell, you can sell those, that dozen of eggs. Highly, I don't even know what, what, what natural eggs are even going for, for a dozen. I guess they got to be at least five, six bucks. So, I mean, think about it like that. You could retail those eggs if you wanted to. That's 20 bucks a month income. And chickens, you know, chickens don't don't eat a whole bunch, especially if you got some room. If you if you let them free range, um, you know, put some chicken wire up, put some net over them so they don't get you know so they don't get attacked. I mean, you got some nice little things going on. Put them up every night, build a little coop for them. One winter time, just make sure they're you know make sure they're going to be warm. You'll be all right. So um, that's um, that's one thing you do. Okay, well, that's two things you can do. One is stock up on um, on groceries now. Two is get you a couple of chickens. Now, three, I'm gonna go back to my original point. Become more plant-based, you know? And if, if money is tight, which everybody has a budget, if money is tight, start, start replacing some of your meals with some liquids, okay? Um, I've noticed since I've been plant-based that when I am doing liquids, now I'm going to tell you, when I say liquids, that means you can, and, and, and it's going to be different for you. And you're probably going to lose some weight, which we all can use, you know, stand to do. Replace one of your meals every day with a liter of water. A liter of juice, some juice that you squeeze yourself. Um, getting some oranges, a pineapple, and... Oranges, pineapple, and uh, a grapefruit. 
I mean, that's like seven, eight bucks right there, right? Juice that and make, you know, make that your meal. That's going to produce about a liter, maybe a liter and a half of juice. Drink that for your meal. You'll be satisfied. I promise you. We don't need to eat so much. That's, that's most of the problem that I see with people in America. We eat too much. Think about it. We eat all the time. We wake up, boom, first thing we do, we got to have our coffee and donuts, our coffee and toast, our coffee and this. We don't drink coffee either, by the way. Okay, so I, I don't, I've, nev I've never been a coffee drinker. I've never been a smoker. I never used tobacco. So I don't really understand that. My addiction has always been food. Always. So, and I'm still fighting that addiction. And it is truly addiction. It, it is truly an addiction. It truly is. Um, so replace, replace one of meals. So three things that we covered that's going to help you when the food shortage comes. I'm sorry, when the food, while, the, while we're going through the food shortage is number one, become more plant-based. Number two, stock up um, and get you a couple of chickens. That way you can, you know, you can eat the eggs. If you are a meat eater, you can eat the eggs. And eventually when you get a surplus, you can sell those. And then three, start replacing one of your meals with some liquid. You know, a liter of water, that's a meal replacement. You're going to be full. If you drink a liter of water, if you still, want, if you still feel that you need something, drink another liter. You'll be fine. I promise you, you'll be fine after two liters of water. Um, or juice or a smoothie. Going on a smoothie piece is amazing because you're getting your fiber in and you're feeling like you're eating. Juice, juice is, is the same way too. You, you, when you're juicing, you feel like you're eating too. Uh, it just doesn't last as long. It doesn't last as long as your smoothies. Um, so th th those, are my, those are my thoughts on the, the food shortage that we are currently in. I don't care what the media tells you. I don't care what, you, you know, what you're hearing about the economy. We're going through a food shortage. And if you're not noticing it with the prices, you will. I promise you, you will. Um, and if you don't watch out, and if the, if the market doesn't turn around, we're going to roll right into a recession, which means that think, think everything's just going to be more expensive. And I, I see it coming because Christmas is coming. And before Christmas gets here, they got to raise the prices up on everything because they know, you know, they got to start raising the prices now so that when Black Friday gets here, they can drop the prices down to a reduced higher price. It's all a big game, y'all. Do you not do you not see it? OK, they're playing chess. We're playing checkers. So just do what you need to do to protect your family, because trust, we have no control. All we're doing are little little pawns. We're little puppets being controlled. And um, just start waking up, wake up to wake up to the game, wake up to what's going on. Just 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 wake up. OK, it's all a big game. It's all a huge game. They know Thanksgiving is coming, so they got to raise the food prices up like crazy so that when turkey season gets here, they can reduce the prices down to a higher, lower price or a lower, higher price. It's all a game, y'all. It's all a game. So if you like the content, I, um, I would ask you, I'm asking you now to please subscribe like the videos I, I i always forget to ask you guys to like the videos like the videos help help me out uh, i'm working really hard on this channel trying to build it i know i'm putting out some great content for you guys i know y'all love it when jennifer is here i know you love the channel more when she's here and i don't have a problem with that i have no ego well i do but that's my wife everybody loves jennifer when she when she comes into the room she lights up a whole room. Everybody is grav everybody gravitates to that girl and they love her. And I and I know why. Because she's she's such a wonderful personality. And I am blessed to have found her and I am blessed to have her in my life. And so I can't blame you guys when Jennifer's here. Y'all like, y'all, y'all like, y'all share, y'all comment more. I understand. Okay? Does it hurt my feelings? Yeah, it really does. Cause this really is my channel you know what i'm saying but but it's gonna be the same thing when she starts her channel when i come over on her channel it'll be the same thing because those guest appearances just you know just they just make the channel much better so um i get it it's okay i'm okay with it i promise i'm okay there's no hate here 
<laughs> but thank you guys for being here. I could not do what I do without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we are swiftly approaching 100 subscribers. I want to do some kind of giveaway and nobody's communicating with me as far as what y'all would like to see and how y'all like to see me do it. So if y'all leave it up to my, to my demises, it might be, well, I tell you, I tell you, whatever, whatever the giveaway is going to be, it's going to be something that's going to help you move more toward a plant-based healthy lifestyle. I can tell you that for certain. So if you have any ideas about that, please share. If you want to email me, just email me at plantbasedhomesteadprepper at gmail.com. If you want to call me uh, or text me, 757-737-3955. My phone rings all the time anyway from numbers I don't know. Uh, it's best to text me first. So I know that, you know, know that you're trying to get in touch with me and then, you know, then we can schedule a call. But uh, I want to meet with you guys. I want to talk with you. I want to build, build relationships with you. And uh, I love you guys enough to tell you the truth. Y'all be blessed. Have an awesome, awesome day today. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.